Last week we spoke about logos and semiotics. Today let's have a discussion around semiotics in relation to space. Semiotics of space is all about inquiring relationship between an object and its spatial context. This means giving attention to the meaning and the significance held by the space in relation to its spatial and existential purposes, which could be determined by the people who use it or just the function of that space. For the sake of simplicity in this video, I am categorizing a space as personal or institutional. So without further delay, let's have a look at personal spaces first. There are several kinds of interior decor, minimalist, vintage, industrialist, modern, and a lot more. While one could say that interior decor is more about the trend or what seems very cool, I would like to believe that interior decor reflects the preferences and the personality of the people who live in that house. So for example, a minimalist decor would reflect and show off the minimalist values, whereas an industrialist decor boasts of a taste for unfinished rawness in many of the elements and an obvious use of exposed brick, duct work, or wood. Where an industrialist decor celebrates reinventing or reliving the industrial times, a minimalist house could appreciate a neutral, airy, streamlined decor with a sense of functionality and ultra cleanliness. Color palette is another important feature in the interior decor, which tells more about the space. Some of you might be familiar with color wheel and that some of the colors in the color wheel are warm, whereas some colors are referred to as cool colors. This also matters what is the functionality of that space. Like drawing room or study room could have warmer colors to reflect the energy which is required to carry out the activities, whereas a bedroom could have more cooler wall paint to slow down one's racing mind and body. The selection of paintings, artifacts, and floor plans are other features to learn more about one's taste and preferences. Just to explain a little more about floor plans. Some houses have open floor plan, where usually living area and kitchen are connected. Such kinds of plan could be in response to the availability of the space, but at the same time, it reflects the comfort of its residents in sharing spaces with each other and enjoying social interactions while getting out their own daily work. In contrast, there are four plans where every function has its specific space and the walls determines the boundaries which hint that residents enjoy their personal space over social space. Once again, these explanations may not be held true in all the circumstances and what an observer thinks or draws meaning may not reflect the story of those people who live breathe in or has built that space. So it's always recommended to have a conversation with those people who use that space and ask about their ideas behind using a certain color scheme or interior decor or a floor plan rather than falling into the trap of being judgmental. Let's quickly move to institutional spaces such as schools, hospitals, community parks or prayer spaces. These spaces have more than one elements to signify their norms and values. Geometric patterns are the most common observable patterns or the symbol that has been used in community spaces, especially the ones affiliated with faith structures like Islam. The geometric designs or patterns are common ways to beautify a space without having iconic representations. More than that, these patterns envelop bigger messages in it. So for example, a circle which does not have any end or any corner represents unity, wholeness, and infinity, as one cannot say where it begins and where it would end. An octagon, which is made out of two squares, often represents a transition between the two worlds, the earth and the universe, or sacred and profane, or if you would like to say it divine and mundane. The other few symbols are web, which represents that we all are connected with one another and repeated patterns, which reminds us that we all reflect each other's energy and wisdom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. This always means a lot. And in the comment box below, feel free to share your thoughts and comments and what 
tell us what are the other applications of semiotics that you would like to explore. With this, signing off from Canvas of Learning, thank you for watching us and stay healthy at home.